Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Now we are going to see about the file command to know the file type. In our previous class also, we discussed about the file command. So how we can identify the type of a file? So for example, there is 123.jpeg file on my desktop, abc.mp4 video file on my desktop, sample c is on my desktop and first dot txt and you can take one cat it is a command another one is cs dot pdf now so if i ask you that so what is the type of this file means so obviously you are saying that this is the jpeg if obviously it is a jpeg file so by seeing this extension we can say the type of the file so pdf is a document first.txt is a text file sample.csc is a c file dot mp4 is a video file but in unix operating system it does not identify the type of the file not based on the extension it identifies the type of the file so based on the content in that so already we discussed this in our previous class now we can see once again the file command is used to identify the type of file on the basis of their content so not on the basis of extension if i 123.jpeg but in that file i am going to write any text then it can display as a ascii file only it does not display as a jpeg file and so all executable files are recognized by the information stored on their header file so for example this is the cat so cat is a executable file now how the unix operating system can identify this type of the cat file using a number magic number the first byte information is known as a magic number that means this cat file is a one file in that the first byte stores one number for example the cat belongs to executable file so the first uh, byte of the file cat is 410 now so this numbers we are called as a magic numbers now the correlation between magic numbers and file types is contained in the file known as root etc slash magic so this is one file in this file all the magic numbers are stored so for example the executable file magic number is 410 so it returns the the type of the file cat is executable file now so for text files the clues may not be available directly with the magic numbers then how we can identify is that so first dot txt is a ascii file so how means the unix operating system interpret that the every line at the end of the line there is a new line slash n if we press slash n now the unix operating system treat this file as a ascii file or text file and if you see that sample dot c if you writing sample dot c means so normally our first line is hash include stdiy.h so this is the first line we are going to write now so based on this first line the unix operating system interpret this file as a c source file so for example on my desktop 123 is a jpeg file abc is the video file sample is c file first is text file cat is command file csc is pdf file okay so there is no extensions okay now i can give the command file 123 then it displays as jpeg after that i give file abc then it displays it as a video file sample file sample then it displays sample is a c file how it can identify the starting line is hash include stdio.h so c source and it displays as a ascii text and first is a file first then it displays ascii test 
cat it displays as a interpret as a executable file and cs is a file cs then it displays as a document file we can see all these in our practical session so now we see the file command on my desktop these are the c files program1.c program2.c sample.c and this is the jpeg file this is the abc video file and remaining file1 file2 all these are the text files now we can check with the help of file command type of the file file program1.c it displays c source ascii text why c source means the first line is hash include stdio.h similarly file cs cs is a document file and similarly file 123 it is a jpeg image data file abc it is a video file and file file 1 it is a ascii text now we can check cat file type for example cat is a command now we move to bin we check file cat so cat is a shared object it's a another type of file file cal is a symbolic link to ncal so in this way you are going to find the type of a file by using file command